Good morning. It's Sunday, February 20th, 2022. What are we doing today? We are making pockets for our master reference journal. And you might want to write the instructions down, scrap piece of paper so that you can have notes with the way we make these pockets. Okay, on our pocket excursion, uh, we're gonna try a couple of different techniques. And the first technique, if you want a lot of pockets really fast for your master journal, for examples of things you've made that you want um, to remember how you made them, the, the you know quickest way is a uh, personal letter size and you just stack them up like this. That gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets out of four envelopes and, and you know you don't this is not the kind of envelope system that you would uh, put a lot of things in you would just put very small things in and you would fit it in here and this would be your eighth pocket or the second way to do this the second way to do this is the way I did this a year ago when I was teaching myself how to do this and that is to make an accordion fold I did not do a lot of decorating because I was just practicing that's what this master journal is for practice so how do we do that well you can um, cut these flaps off or you can tuck them in and leave them you can glue them down if you want to and then what we're going to do is run a line of glue right here so that they all stick together this is what I let me just show you what I'm talking about so uh, let me just double check and make sure that's where yep that's where I just used I just used this right here as my guide where to put my glue and all I did was just run a line of glue it was not at all straight or um, what have you it's just a line of glue and then I lined my envelopes up like that you're gonna want to try and keep these two edges flush and square that's the biggest deal of this whole thing I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to another envelope or another pocket so that's super easy the next one is equally easy but it requires a little bit of cutting so I've got a book page for this one and I'm going to I'm going to fold in the sides not a lot you can measure this and be more precise if you have a space that it has to fit into but I don't this is just an example all right so I have two sides folded in and I am going to fold whoops wrong way nope that's the right way I'm going to no it's the wrong way I'm going to open my sides and I'm going to fold up and I'm going to try and line up my folds the best I can. Not worried as much about the sides, I'm worried about lining up the folds, which I'm probably going to be off, but I don't care. And this can be as deep or as shallow as you want it. <clears throat> now I'm going to take it and fold it back on itself like this so that I have a nice crease there then I'm going to fold it up another oh maybe maybe an eighth of an inch I'm going to fold it up again and now when I turn this around I have a box joint See right here, I have a little box joint. Fold this back up. 
so that I can uh, reinforce these creases. All right, now we've got a box joint. So we're gonna fold all of this back, all the uh, wings here, we're gonna fold them back. And reestablish those fold lines. Ah, uh, I forgot. Here's what I forgot. Right where your box joint is, you're gonna make a tiny little cut, like a little pie piece there. And there. You can actually cut this piece out if you want to. I just put a little bit of glue on it because it helps my box joint, well, it helps my box joint stay square. So there we go. There's our little helper piece. Do the same thing on this side. And this is a good um, this is a good little envelope to practice or pocket because we're going to use these same skills again in a later. Um, in a, in a later pocket. So, up we go. There we go, okay. Now, you're gonna fold your top wings back, like this, and you're going to flip your box jointed pocket up and just wrap those Wrap those uh, wings to the inside. Maybe. There we go. So you have a fold line here and a fold line here. And you're going to square up your little box right there. Same thing on this side. There you go. Now, Square up your little box and glue it down. That's what those fold, those folds that are folded in are for, to give a little bit of play. And you want to line this up. And you don't have to glue all the way down. You can leave that open to keep your box square. And we're going to line these up book pages are great for this especially if you double them over um, they become very sturdy we're going to line that up there we go okay so now all you need to do is if you want a notch in it Cut your notch, and I'm just going to line it up with the page number, because why not? It's easy. Cut your notch. I like a shallow notch, and of course I didn't get it lined up, but I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. You can also cut a notch up here if you want to, because this back part's going to make another pocket. So, let's do that. No, we can't do it on that. Let's do it on, let's just use another book, book page. Now, you're going to say to me, well, when I fold it, my writing here is upside down. That's okay. Just cover it. So, now, I guess I need to fill my glue up. Now, I'm going to. Glue down the flaps, and we have two pockets. Now, I've left room, since this is a demo, I've left a lot of room up here. Um, you don't have to. You can move the whole thing up if you want to. So, there's our second pocket, and then we can, we can decorate this with a piece of paper. So, what other simple pockets can we make? Well, first of all, here's our accordion fold pocket. You can see 
on the inside how many pockets we ended up with. All I did was cover this with a squared piece of paper. I inked the edges first, but this is going to be flat, so you're not going to see a lot of this white reveal. I might go in and just fix that one right there. You can also put a piece of paper on the inside if you don't want to see the white envelope. You could certainly line it with book paper or what have you. So there's our accordion fold envelope. Eight pockets. If we glue this down here and here the way we did it, stacked all the envelopes, when we glue it down we're going to have an extra pocket. So that's the accordion fold. Next, we have our, I mounted our uh, box joint, remember this? I mounted it, used a scrap piece of paper to cover that writing. It's on a page. We can make a hinge on this or we can mount the whole, we can decorate this and mount the whole thing on a larger page. So there's those two we've already made. Now the next ones are variations on the same um, simple pocket. So I have three of these. All I did <clears throat> was take a book page, which I thought I had to hand right here. I do. All I did was take a book page Fold it in half. Now there's you can fold it in half this way, or you can fold it in half by uh, making a little tube. Either way is fine. Uh, I do both because I don't always remember to make the little tube. It doesn't matter. Um, if you if you make the little tube, these are your fold lines, and then this is your glue line right here. I'm just gonna do the half sheet for now. So fold it in half, um, reinforce your crease there because that's going to be your top line. Then your this you will fold in thirds for sure and line up all your top lines so that they are all flush. Make your folds, leave a little bit of a gap here and you're going to basically um, put glue here, uh, a line of glue down here, all the way down. So these are your two glue, glue lines here and all the way down here. And then you're going to fold them back on each other. I have a terrible fold line there. Okay, fold them back on each other. This is going to glue, this glue line right here is going to glue all this down and up here, it's going to glue this down. Right here and right here. Now you have a pocket like this. And I broke my own rule and had to glue up here. So did I do it on all of them? I sure did. Well, anyway, do what I did the first time. So now you've got this little pocket. Depending on the height of your paper, you can make it as wide or as narrow as you want. And these all can be accordion fold, like the uh, like the envelope project we did, by running a, a line of glue here and a line of glue, glue there. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six pockets with three individuals. You can also stack these, but these do not stack as easily as the envelopes do, only because they're a little bit thicker. But again, you have a stack. So there's that method. Let's put that aside. Here's the third one, and this is a corner pocket. Um, this you would put on the corner. Oh, let's see. You would put on the corner of your page right here by slipping the page in, and um, you want to snug up one of the edges as best you can because you're going to have a little bit of overhang where this glue line is. So you can snug the bottom up, or you can do it this way. 
snug the bottom up on the there and then you have a nice turning but you also have a left hand pocket you can make one of these and glue it if you don't like that overhang you can glue it down you're only going to get a pocket on the top but you end up with more than one pocket you have this pocket and then if you glue it down just on the side and on the bottom you have this pocket so that's a corner fold how do you make a corner fold this is super easy this is not a square piece of paper but we will make it a square piece of paper by doing this maybe all it is is a square piece of paper uh, if you have extra you can either fold it over and make make a pocket here and a pocket here or you can just rip from corner to corner like that and there's your corner pocket and you'll glue this side closed like that so corner pocket super easy uh, let's see what else do we have oh okay we've uh, we're practicing techniques and building on them so here is an accordion style and what we've done is taken scrap paper like this and we've accordion folded it and glued it down and okay there we go and glued it down I have a tendency to want to put my glued edge on the outside did I do that with this one yes okay so here's my glued edge and I did it two different ways I did the folded side on the outside where your glued edge is on the inside and I did the folded side on the inside where your glued edge is on the outside. You can fold it three times or you can fold it two times, which I didn't do. But at any rate, this is what it looks like, a W or an M. Easy peasy. And then you would um, glue that down and you would leave enough room on the bottom so that you can do a fold up. You can make a box joint out of your fold up if you want to, which gives you, whoops, which gives you a, a little box, basically. These are best suited on the outside because unless you have a box jointed bottom of your book, this is going to get smashed. But nevertheless, it's, a, it's an option. And by viewer request, Somebody wanted to know if there were any origami type folds or type um, uh, pockets, and yes, there are. Now, I've colored this, but it doesn't make sense to you. I'm going to show you how it's folded, and then we're going to do a fold. So here's my book page. It's rectangular. So that would be, it's a cut down, but it's still a rectangle. And I turn it sideways, and I fold up once. Let's put this up here so you can see it. I fold up once so that I have two mountain pe peaks. Then I fold from the right in once, and I fold from the left in once. Now I've got my two mountain peaks. I tuck this left hand fold into the right fold and I end up with one, two, three, four pockets. So let's let's do that again. And underneath the magic mat I have a just colored board cardboard but I want you to see not cardboard colored paper but I want you to see because of the two different colors how this works so our first fold is up and this is kind of stiff um, we want to make sure this right hand corner has a good uh, split in it so I that means I can move my left hand corner 
around. So that looks pretty good. I have two mountain peaks, crease. And if you don't have a bone folder, here's a, a technique. You can use, I would use um, softer grip scissors, but reinforce your score line. Then we're gonna go from right to left and I'm gonna fold this one in about a third or a little over a third maybe and crease that and I'm gonna fold left to right and I just want to meet my fold line on the right oh, this is thick paper I don't know if double gluing this was such a great idea after all, but it does show you by looking at the colors. We started out with yellow facing us, in, in. Now we have our origami fold, and yes, this side is a little off, and this side, because I didn't measure it. You saw me do it live. But anyway, it's a very um, interesting pocket and very easy to do once you just practice it maybe two or three times. And here's a shot of everything we made this week. Screenshot for next week so that you have all the supplies and materials to hand because even though we ran out of time this week, next week we will do pamphlet binding. And one thing I forgot to add to that supply list, which if you screenshotted it, you will have it, is you will need some black one millimeter elastic cord. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you real soon.